What's going on, y'all? Uh, welcome back to another episode of the podcast where nothing seems to go my way, but somehow everything turns out pretty cool. I hope you had a fantastic week. Uh, it was another week of <laughs> craziness and daily historical events, but uh, hopefully we all made it through. Um, if you didn't join last week, we uh, we had fun. I was very, 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 very excited. Uh, I made something um, that I wanted to make. Wasn't doing it for me. Switch gears and uh, ended up with what I call Manic Panic, if you didn't see it, um, on my social medias uh, throughout the week. It's right there. We got some pinks. We got some purples. We got some hot pinks. We got a little bit of red. We got a little bit of black. And that was, so far, my absolute favorite uh, experience with this so far. So, um, also last week I told you guys that I was not gonna buy anything else. Um, and, uh, yeah, that was a lie. <laughs> I got my citric acid for y'all that watched last week. Uh, you may have noticed me saying, uh, my, my citric acid wasn't here. And it showed up literally about... 15 minutes after I got done doing everything, so if I would have just waited, would have had it to see what that does. Still don't know what that does, but uh, we're gonna find out. Um, and then my uh, my package from Dharma came. I opened it, but I haven't taken anything out yet. I still don't remember. I, I don't even remember what all I got. I remember some browns. Mm. Peanuts, man. Gotta love them. So what do we got? We got... Ooh. We have... Something called... Oh, God. Tape is stuck. Tobacco leaf. That's a brown. Something called Silver Gray. I'm going to put this one over here. We might use that one today. I still have no idea what I'm making today, by the way. I have an idea, but... Soft Tan. Oh, I've never seen it come in a clear one before. You can actually see the little color in there. Why are all the tapes stuck together, man? Cost of doing business. What is this one? Pistachio. Pistachio. That's like a green, right? Why do I feel like I already have pistachio? Oh, well. We're putting that in that pile, too. <laughs> and golden straw. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no recollection of what the heck I bought. Um, but... Alright, so, <clears throat> I told you last week, I ordered more yarn, and I severely miscalculated. I thought I had three skeins left. I only have one skein left. So, my wonderful wife was like, oh, I've got an idea. And she had something called Wool Ease Worsted Weight Yarn. A soft, warm blend of lamb's wool and easy care acrylic. And then she went on to tell me that this is like 80% acrylic and 20% wool. And she's like, this ain't gonna, this ain't gonna accept but die like you're used to. And this is a worsted weight, so it's like super thick. So we're literally gonna throw this in with my last two skeins and see if it looks any different than uh, 
than the other ones um, so that we can find out what acrylic does or if it comes out cooler, if it comes out worse, if it's pointless. She had like some plain white roving and she's like, you want to mess with that? And I was like, no, not yet. I haven't done any research whatever, whatsoever on that. I haven't watched a single video or nothing, so I don't want to ruin that. So, um, so I got to get this soaking. My other two are soaking. Um, and then I guess I need to put together a plan. I'm thinking Anderson Cooper Gray with maybe some like lightish green. I'll have to see what I have down there. Oh, but I've been wanting to use that Frozen. It's like an Elsa Blue. Maybe we'll do all of them. I got my radioactive. I wonder how that would look with like some super bright limey green speckles. Silver. Frozen green with maybe like a mint green. I don't know, man. <laughs> we'll, uh, I'll get it figured out, I promise, before we get this fired up. And uh, yeah, let's go see what we can do. All right, y'all. <clears throat> so <laughs> I don't want you to think that I forgot about you, but I totally forgot about you. Um, I got in the zone. I was out here uh, mixing my dyes. I heated up my pan. And then uh, I put my yarn in, and I was like, oh, while I got my mask on, I might as well start speckling. So I came in with just one little round of radioactive speckling that I am not going to touch. Oh, wow. Why am I getting, like, blues out of the radioactive? Man, I learned some. Oh, you know what? So I've got my, my fingering weight, my worsted weight that I told you about and more fingering weight. But I'm getting like blues out of the worsted weight. That's the one that I, that Quill was saying is acrylic and it's gonna be different than the other ones. So wow, who knows where that's going. But so far so good, just a tiny little bit of speckling that I'm not touching for 15 minutes. So um, I did I did um, mix up some of the Silver Fox, the pistachio, which yes, I did order a second thing of pistachio, not knowing that I had already ordered pistachio, so there's going to be lots of pistachio in our future, and Spearmint Breeze, so check back in a minute. Alrighty, so I came back and I flipped, and boy, that uh... <laughs> That is some neon yellowish, radioactive greenish. And I feel like with my plan in my head, of course, <laughs> this wouldn't be the Johnny Bow Show if it didn't go to against what uh, what I originally thought. But I no longer feel like it goes with what I'm trying to pull off. But we're going to see what happens. We're going to come in with this silver gray, this... Uh, silver foxes I call it and I did put some thread tape on my bottles but the silver is the first one I did and it didn't really come it's it's the only one that's kind of leaking so I am gonna come in here with some of this and we're gonna we're gonna try to make a cohesive little thing and see what happens I want it to be majority gray, and I feel like I might need to add some some uh, water to this, because I've only got six ounces of water, <clears throat> which I don't feel like is quite enough for what I'm going for. But who knows what I'm actually even going for. Um, I think only scholars know. <laughs> um, we are going to come back with some more of this silver. And hope that it turns silver. But one thing I have learned. What is it guys? 
don't panic. <laughs> um, but this, oh man, this uh, acrylic definitely looks a lot different than everything else. <clears throat> so we're going to come in here with some of this. See, see what the radioactive and the, the spearmint breeze take on together. Oops. Come in over there with that. And then lastly, we've got our pistachio that we've got plenty of. So I feel like I could... Oh, that is like a woodsy... Oh, this might be a weird color combination. Um, we're going to see what we get. <laughs> we're going to see what we get. It already looks super different on the acrylic. We'll come around that green and see what we get. <laughs> if we end up with browns. Um then we know we did something wrong <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna tap that down a little bit oh boy I got some some things going on there ah boy alrighty and this is not gonna be able to really move around much I've only got six cups of water in here oh boy <laughs> we'll see what this looks like. We're going to leave it alone for a little bit. Let's leave it alone. Not sure what happened here, but I completely lost my audio. So, uh, I'll give you the cliff notes on it. So, when I opened this up, I wasn't happy. And uh, I had all the pre-mixed dye. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try diluting my dye and trying the Shirsty Cat method again. So, I came in... I think I did a half of a cup of 1% dye mixture, and then I added three cups of water, or something like that. <laughs> I don't quite remember, but this literally saved the day. Um, I was really not liking what I had, and uh doesn't look like that great right there, but keep watching. I think you'll enjoy it. Alrighty, let's see what we got. That's kind of cool. I did, uh, I did dilute some more of the Spearmint Breeze. And we're going to put that in. That, that's a green color? That is a green color, babe. Hazel's here with us, guys. And that's going to be... Whatever that is, is going to be the end of it. So we got 15 more minutes. Or until all of our dye is, uh is gone how's that look on camera i'm sneaking back here Ooh, started out hating it don't really hate it but let's hope our spearmint doesn't take over all righty so i dig it i do not dig the acrylic the acrylic is a whole different animal but my uh but my regular yarn, oh man, I wish I would have had three skeins of this. Turned out kind of cool, man. It's got, you can see the spearmint, you can see the little bit of brights. I'm not getting the gray, the silver that I thought I was gonna get. It's dark, it's kind of more like a darkish gray. But we'll see what happens when it all comes out and dries. I wish I had a spin dry. Hint, hint, Aquila Boland. Man, there's no gift-giving holidays coming up. I'm going to have to buy that crap on my own. <laughs> All right. Hi. Welcome back. I found a lady friend. While I was uh, out gallivanting. Yeah. yeah. Picked her up at a truck stop. Oh, thanks. 
My little lot lizard. <laughs> My little lot lizard. <laughs> Why do it look like I have blue teeth? Uh, hygiene is something are, that we've been talking like about. My lips are purple or <laughs> Dying. So. Speaking of dying. <laughs> speaking of dying. <laughs> we did that. You've probably already seen the little. Yeet. The little things that I was doing. Um. I don't know. I'm, I. Uh. Eh. Is the, uh. How I feel. This week. Um. I've, uh. I, it's not bad. It's not as bad as I thought it was when it was drying and when I pulled it out. And I, I feel like I'm using too many dyes. And I'm, uh, it's all about figuring out, like, what does what look like. That whole swatching thing that I talked about that I poo-pooed all over in the first episode, that I was like, you ain't rich. I think I need to do that. Because I'm starting to find out that the, uh, the colors on the little pictures aren't necessarily the colors that I'm going to get. And also that the color combinations that I look at from the pictures, I don't realize that I'm, I'm going to lose it completely. It's going to be overpowered by something else. Okay. So we need to take a skein and cut it up and do like tassels and dip them in your 1% and that way you have a straight 1%. Yeah, but what are we going to do with a bunch of tassels? Make a color card. You get like a thick piece of cardboard or board, poster board, and you tie your tassels on there and you write, you have a second chart, you just glue your squares next to it, and then you have a color card. I'm thinking tassels like the the, the dancers. No. I mean, and yes, then, but yeah. they are tassels, but put them on like a piece of cardboard. Well, I've got a better idea. If you're, if you're down. No. It would be Probably a good not. way for me to... <laughs> To figure out my colors. You will lose all focus. So? <laughs> Dying no longer matters at this point. <laughs> Why don't you show them okay. your end result, please? Why'd you ask me to show them if you're just going to give me a big green mustache? It's -a me, Luigi. Um, yeah, I, so, didn't get... The, the so, I, so it's like a dark gray, <laughs> like it's a almost blacky color. It's and then, got it there though. Yeah, I didn't get nearly the, I don't know why I just put it in my head of like, I'm going to get Anderson Cooper's hair out of it. Because the name throws you off. Yeah. You it's pretty cool. Of and when it was drying last night, I was like, sweet, I basically made... The same thing that I made in the first episode. But now that it's dry and we've got some sunlight coming in through that window, they don't look nothing like that. Mm -hmm. They look different. They look different. They look way different. But I do like the like Briar's minty green that I got. I do like the little like fluorescent yellow that I got in some of it where I did yeah. my quote unquote speckling with the radioactive. I'm not getting much pistachio. I, I, I found a little bit of pistachio. Oh, this like looks that, more like... That little brownish is the pistachio. This more, looks more like a pistachio to me. You're gonna have yeah, to so this here. was the acrylic. Look at that. My <laughs> wife was like, oh, it's not going to look the same. It's not. She I did think. not lie. Yeah. <laughs> like, that is... Uh, it's only 20% wool. So only 20% of this fiber is yeah, taking up the color. look at how crazy that is. That's way different. It's, it's still like really cool though. Natural dyeing, Technicolor gym coat. Like I like that color right there. And I am glad you, you got a lot like of that, cool sweetheart. colors in it. I mean, you know, I love green. Green's my favorite color. Greens and blues, totally down for that. So like, it's just a muted version, and I think it's really kind of cool looking. I like it. I want some earth tones next. Well. I thought that's what you were doing this week. I thought that's what I was doing this week, too. I didn't watch any of the beginning, so I didn't know I, this is... I um, I went downstairs, and I pulled out all my colors, and then I was just like, I want to do this, this, and this. And that's what I did. But, yeah, uh... Cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know. What do you think? Oh. I don't want to get beard oil in my 
Oh, did you put pure yarn? Yarn. <laughs> I did. Getting ready for your episode. <laughs> I was getting ready. I threw the, Look at the that. toothpaste upside Rant. down. Rant. Here, yeah. I'll unravel one and we'll show the people. We'll show the people. You got a lot of that neon green. Look at that. Yep. So. That's why I was, I, I didn't overdo it. I only did the one side and I was like, whoa, that looks like a highlighter. And I was like, I'm not going to do the other side. <clears throat> pretty. I, I dig think it. it's pretty. There's your speckles. There's my speckles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, it was fun. I, I'm not nearly as excited as I was last week. But it's pretty cool. And I don't Wait, have a name. Here's that lighter silver gray you were looking for. I'm thinking like... Creature from the Black Lagoon. Mm. No. Uh... Uh... Swamp Monster. No. No. Uh, the power plant went Ulri. <laughs> what? The power plant went Ulri. Heroes in a half shell. Heroes. <laughs> Heroes in a half shell. Gerald Power. I mean, sure. So, I told you guys at, at the beginning, like, I kind of went in full panic mode because my, my yarn order is... It's in the hands of the Lord now. It's it's with UPS and Why it you is get religious again. Um, it is. I, it hasn't moved at all, and I know that it's not not the uh, the seller's fault or anything like that. It's uh, I ordered something for her for Christmas that took a month. Oh, oh cool. Um, to get here, it's, it's just brighter. USPS it's is getting uh, destroyed right now with all kinds of different things. Mm -hmm. So, who knows when I'm gonna have it. So my 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 lovely wife that I found at a truck stop, um, she went to uh, Yo 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 Hans Yo Hans Yo Ann fan, fancy place, and she did get me some things that I can play with. Play with. Mm -hmm. So uh, General Patton's. Croy socks. She got me a bunch of that. This is the muslin color, so it's just the natural. I got him six of those. And she got me three of these, which is, I'm scared to even mess with this. This looks like it's going to be knotted and felted and all kinds of things by the time I get done with so it. So it's the Lion Brands Fisherman's Wool, which is 100% wool, 100% non-superwash wool. Oh. So you can't go crazy when you're dunking it and washing it. That's we always where easier. I go crazy, though. I know you do. So, so we might have to break this down into, like, half. No. Um, it's 227 grams. To make one skein, it's going to be giant. So uh -huh. that's why I think maybe we should break it into half. And, but... What do you even know, though? <laughs> I know nothing <laughs> other than I was hoping you might dye this for your sister... So I could make her that sweater that she tried on that of mine. But so I it guess can't be we'll like say. it can't be like crazy everything that I've been doing to make mm, a sweater. It's I, gotta be like a She likes natural colors, so if you did like mustard or brown or olive or you know Top a nod. You know, you might have to message her. Maggie. Talk to your brother. So I can't do I can't do like zany like multicolored things it's got to basically be maybe a tonal a to a to we'll see i mean it might i don't know we'll you'll just have to play and okay i wanted to get you the oatmeal color this is the ecru the natural ecru color which mm -hmm. is like a creamy color obviously it looks creamy um yeah, but they had an oatmeal color and i was going to get you that because it was a nice like light brown beige base and I thought it would be really pretty mm. but I just went with the the natural so there you go do you want to have a fight this is this is uh, hard-hitting journalism right here guys journalism now yeah. this is journalism yes. we are basically like there's like Anderson, Anderson Cooper, Cooper. <laughs> and then there's Geraldo, and then there's us. 
not at all. Yeah. They're closing mailboxes and locking them up in Washington, D.C. right now. And taking them down. Yeah. So they don't plant bombs. Yeah. There's your journalism. Journalism. Yeah. I mean, it's D.C. on election week, I'm sure... Every week there's, or every four years there's some On a, kind of... Inauguration day. Do you think they did this when Obama was brought in? Oh, most definitely. You think so? Oh my God, yes. We'll have to Google. I would 100%. Maybe. Okay, did think... they do this when Bush was, or Clinton? Clinton? Or do you think they, it's just more of a They tried thing? to knock off Clinton. During inauguration? Or was that Bush? That Not was during Bush. the inauguration, was Not it? Not during the inauguration. No. But the reason that they don't try to take off, uh, they don't try to take off presidents on inauguration day is because they do these extreme measures, yeah. like removing mail so that you can't have. Why are we talking about this? <laughs> Not a single you one of us gives journal. a care. Well, yeah, yeah, sure. We're not down there. I mean, we have friends down there, so. So. I want to thank Jake from State or from Dog Star Knit <laughs> uh, He has been you guys messaging have been me all kinds of love notes. Love notes. <laughs> Got a DP on the second message. Um, <laughs> What's that? I didn't know what you meant by that at first. Sorry, we were getting a telephone call. Yeah, thanks. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. We just declined your call. We did. We wanted to keep on going about DPs from Dog Star. <laughs> God. All right. I, I think didn't get, you need to I didn't this. get any. Uh, I didn't get any DPs. I, I just want that. I would. I, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't. I wouldn't turn them away if it were to happen. But he was giving me some great advice. I swear to God, I hope he's so getting any thank DPs. You. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't, I, it's, it's art if you look at it the right way, I guess. Everything's, everything's, everything's art if you. Put a filter on it. <laughs> Maybe put a filter on it. Dude, this has gone sideways. All I wanted to do was show you Heroes in a Half Shell and, uh. Radioactive Heroes in a Half Shell. No. Turn it on. Now I want pizza. <laughs> now you want pizza. We just <laughs> ate. Cake for lunch. And sandwiches. I didn't get a sandwich. <laughs> you were out shopping. buying stuff for me. <sighs> All right. All right, man. So, but anyways, thanks for the DPs. Jake from, from State Farm. And uh, what was the lady that sent me the emails? Andrea. Andrea from... The Cat Lady Podcast. The Cat Craft Lady. all the things. That's C-A-T-T. -T. Oh, Cat Lady Podcast stands for something? The craft all the things. I'm learning so much today. My my brain's about full with with knowledge. The only thing that I can uh, pretty much hold on to is, is grab your drink. <laughs> Which I've managed to say, I think, in every single episode. And this was almost one that didn't get it. So, you didn't say that when you had your Paloma when you were outside. Mm -mm. Oh, I don't think my Paloma made it into this episode. I didn't want to be redundant. <laughs> oh, okay. You just <laughs> <laughs> there it. was a Paloma though. All right, fourteen minutes. All right, y'all. What did what do you say? Get happy. Mm -hmm. <gasps> don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs>